Hi there, and welcome to Studio Jakarta EE. Today, I'm having a chat with uh, Marcus Karg. And uh, Marcus, uh, please introduce yourself and uh, describe a little bit about how you're involved in the Jakarta EE community. Yeah, hi, Ivor. I'm Marcus. And for those who do not know me, um, I was in the Czechs RS group at JCP. And when we started over at uh, Jakarta, I was the one who did the first few releases and hacked the first few features, which you actually don't know yet because they are not published, but they will come really soon. Um, so my job is not about the community forming all that. My job is really about coding. So I, I love coding. That's my world. Yeah. So uh, Jakarta E9 will be released on uh, November 20th. And uh, what does this release mean for you? Well, we must say two answers. The first answer is what does it mean for me in person? For me in person, actually not much because I, I was involved in all of that. So I'm just glad that we made it and it's through the door and I can go on with the next release. For the community, I think it means a lot because um, we have renamed namespaces, you know that. So I think they will be happy that there is not more features in that. So they will have the time to do that merge, uh, then that uh, migration of the namespace and have time to prepare for the next release. I personally yeah. am really happy that, that it's through the door because I really wait to, to go on with the next release. Yeah, and, and that is kind of the, the key thing because you've been eager all the time to get yeah. going with, with Jakarta REST. And, and uh, you've been kind of stopped the entire way because no, we have to do this and we have to do this. And, and now we finally are there. We get the namespace thing out the door and it's just go ahead. So that must yeah. be wonderful, wonderful news for you. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you know, it, it's like, Christmas coming too late. I, I always wanted to have that. I, I said, I, I want to get that thing through the door because I want to go on with my features. I have coded that, I want to publish them. And I always was stopped because some formal things, organizational things. So sure, yes, I, I really happy uh, that, that uh, the release is there, but it's like Christmas one year too late for me. Yeah, or uh, <laughs> like I want to put it, it's Christmas a month early this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or 11 months too late. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. so, so we, we kind of talk, covered the, uh, the, the, the most important thing about the Jakarta EU release, as you said, is it, it doesn't contain very much, but it has the namespace switch. Yeah. And, and uh, merging to that release will kind of get you past that bump, and then you can start... Yeah developing and using new uh, features. Yeah, actually, so, it, if you say it's not much, I, I, I wouldn't say it's not much because we worked on that for a full year. So actually, th this is a real lot of stuff that people are getting, but nobody was actively waiting for that. So yeah, the, exactly. impression, the impression might be, why is it only that? But we were really happy that it was not more because it wouldn't be finished now. Yeah, and and I I know from from also from from working with it that the the actual change of the APIs from the Java X to the Jakarta namespace I mean that's done in in a couple of hours. That's yeah. not too much work, but the work is with to get all the implementations actually supporting it and and running and and passing the tests. That's where the work is. Yeah. Yeah, and there was a lot of hidden things we never expected. You, you know that you have seen all the discussions that somebody showed up with, with some library where we didn't have a person working on it. So we had to find new, new heads to work on that and just to, to get it through the door somehow. So for the, for the Eclipse Foundation and especially for the Jakarta e Working Group, th this was really a huge test. So we have proven that we can deliver actually. And in the next step, we will prove that we can deliver new features. So yeah. it, it was really good work. So, so how would you, what would you see, say would be the best way for people to get involved in, in Jakarta EE and, and how, how can they best contribute? 
Yeah, I I must be a bit careful with my answer because I often told people if you want to contribute to Chicago Eat, just come to my booth uh, on on a trading fair or something or or on a conference or call me or we do a chat or something. But the problem is people are not prepared what it means to do a specification. So if you want to work on a specification, you, you need to be prepared for discussions and, and uh, law things. And there, there's a lot around the code what you need to do. So I would say the best thing to get into Jakarta EE is to start with contribution on products. So for example, if you look at uh, Jax RS, I would say pick up something in Jersey, start with bug fixing. So you learn what Jersey is working like. And if you, if you learned to contribute to Jersey, then it's really easy to go into the specification work. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you start specification work from zero, th this is very hard. But we had people doing that. And it's, it's pretty okay just to, to write on our mailing list and say, hello, I want to help. That's pretty okay. But for most programmers, it's much easier to start with running code, so with an implementation. So that would be my tip. Pick, pick one of the implementations and try to contribute there first by fixing bugs or adding features. And after that, go a step further and contribute to the specifications. Yeah, and, and that is actually the way we want to do this specification work in Eclipse Relation by, by doing the code first approach. So, yeah. so we want things developed in the implementations and proven to work in the industry. And then whatever makes sense, specify it. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the idea behind that, for those who, who don't know why we have these ideas, if you start with a specification from scratch, you will do it totally wrong. That's it. Yeah. So you, you need to know why you're doing things and why you want that feature in a specification before yeah. you, you really go to other vendors and, and ask them, hey, I have a new interface. Do you want to implement it? And they say, actually, we, we don't care so much. So. Yeah. And, and we've seen examples of that. I won't mention anything, but we have some previous versions of EJB that maybe shouldn't have been around. So. Maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> we, we, but we won't say it here. No, never. And, and it's cut out anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let, let's uh, uh, look a little bit ahead and, and uh, think about the next Jakarta EU releases or upcoming. Are there any features you would like to see coming? Yeah, sure. Sure. That there, there are things that are already there, and I really am happy that they will be published then. And I don't think I need to mention what I mean because I waited two years and I told everybody. <laughs> so let me look at the things I'm not contributing to. So I, I really look forward that we turn Jakarta EE from, uh, away from it, its Java EE past. I, I want to do a, a refresh of the architecture um, built around CDI. So what I really would like to, to happen is that we pick uh, Java SE 15 or 16 and retrofit what we did on top of that and on top of CDI as the core. Because in the past, people know that we had EJB. EJB was the kernel and everything was built around that. And I want to get rid of EJB actually. So let's use CDI on top of Java SE as the kernel and implement the APIs on top of that. That would be a great thing, actually. So yeah. people can do modern Java and get rid of all those old stuff. We, we all know and we work with, but actually yeah. we don't want to have any more. And, and the good thing is that the discussions are already happening on the CDI mailing list yeah. uh, about uh, uh, looking at uh, some lighter versions of CDI that are probably more uh, better suited for uh, ahead of time compilation and that kind of things, but yeah. but also make CDI the first class in 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 Jakarta. Yeah. yeah, right. So so, so um, it, it, it's always a, a bit problematic. Say, what is my wish? Because I'm certainly influenced from the mailing list because I participate in discussions and you adopt ideas. So so my yeah. wish is their wish and and all that. So it's, it's problematic. You will you will hear the same answers everywhere. I think. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. And and. Uh, uh, 
uh, and what's important also uh, going ahead now is that uh, we don't want the major platform releases to be so so big. Yeah, we, we want the individual specifications like Jack's or you're talking about and and the others to go ahead and release as often at the, as they want. And, yeah, and, that, and then release a a, a a platform specifications on a time based cadence. Yeah, uh, pick up whatever is ready when when yeah. they have to and and do you have any opinion about uh, the release cadence for the platform yeah actually my my personal wish would be that we could go in sync with java se somehow so that we say um if there is a new java se version then half a year later we have a java uh, sorry a jakarta ee release adopting those features that that would be really a dream because they, there is a cadence of half a year on the Java SE side and people get confused if it runs uh, away from each other. So it, it would be good to st step in sync there. Mm -hmm. So um, that, that, that's my impression about a cadence. But on the other side, if you ask me as a programmer contributing to that, that would be hell. So uh, th th this is so much pressure. I think we, we will not be able to do that. So, so maybe something uh, in between there. Uh, yeah. Like the usually cadence for Java e has been like two, two and a half years or something, and so, so maybe so somewhere around a year or something is, yeah. is probably what makes yeah. most sense. I, I think most people would love to have one year, but this is just a guess. Yeah. So. Uh, why do you think people should? get involved in the Jakarta E community. Well, it depends what you mean with involved. <laughs> so, well, there are several ways of getting involved. Yeah, One right. is to to participate actively on a specification like yeah, okay. But there so are you mean ways. active active involvement to yeah. contributing to okay. Um, it, it's a bit unfair, but there's so much work that has to be done, right? And I've, after all these years we're getting a little bit tired. It's really fun to do all that, but it, it would be just great if there would be more people so we can have more shoulders to lean on to, to share the work uh, 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 among more people and uh, particularly uh, unpaid people because with the big vendors, we have the, the problem that uh, no one, I, I don't want to blame anybody, but there's a difference if you do something because you're interested in or you do something because you were just thrown into that project for half a year and after that you have to go away in the next project so it, it's just a good thing to have more people that are here for a long time just for their own interest and that would build uh, give stability to the projects uh, it's it's totally okay that we have pro paid programmers doing just their job that that's pretty okay and we need those people and their work power. But for the long term, it's just a good idea for us to know we can we can uh, have these people in future still and they will not change and, and we don't have other people all the time. So this is something I, I love uh, when, when I say there is no new people. Uh, for, for the people themselves, it's a great thing to influence. Well, everybody can become an influencer if you go to an open source project and you can conf uh, uh, introduce your own ideas, your own features, or even in a specification, you can say, hey, I have an idea about an API extension. So maybe you can convince the others and then it's, a, it's an international standard. So that's a great feeling. At least for me, it was. Yeah. So every, everybody so, so has, has other ideas what, what he can get of this community. Yeah, so, so if you have any pain points in your daily life at, as a programmer and, and yeah. think, why doesn't it, this API have this yeah. functionality I need? Well, it's up to you because you can go there and define that API and then make your yeah. life easier. Yeah, that's a good idea to pretend. 
Yeah. And actually, then the horror will start because there are so many other great ideas from other great programmers, and you will end up with months of discussion. But yeah. this is what I love about open source, that it's so open and everybody can contribute and the best idea will win. So this, this is really great. Yeah. I think that is an excellent uh, closing note. So I thank you very much for joining me here and well, uh, for I look me. forward to seeing you again. Thank yes. you very much. See you. Bye.